What are the biggest mistakes you've made in your training? Hmm. In me? Yeah, training? your own training. What are the biggest mistakes you've made? In training? Uh, because uh, the biggest mistake, uh, usually you don't understand. If you understand your mistake, uh, you will be correct. You're correct. I think the uh, biggest mistake uh, uh, for me is I don't have many teachers to correct me, to tell me what's wrong. So I have to be, you know, spend my time and figure out my mistake and take a long time. So that's what uh, I think that's the most uh, painful and things and waste my time to go through all the mistakes. But actually mistake has at least 34 big mistakes in the physically, you know, uh -huh. like uh, three gate cannot open, like a shoulder gate, hip gate cannot open. And that's the mistakes. And I feel for me is uh, uh, now I look back uh, what I training, I find uh, it's maybe 200 mistakes. But uh, the major mistake is uh, no master tell me what are my mistakes. So even today, it's whenever I go to Shanghai, go to China, I talk to other master. I said, any master tell me what's my one mistake, I have one banquet for you. Like, uh, let's go to the restaurant and eat. I pay for everything. Okay? <laughs> so anyone just tell me one mistake. I don't care. Okay. Just tell me, judge, this is wrong, okay? Uh -huh. Right away, go to the restaurant, I pay for it, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> Bring all your friends, right? So I, I, I willing to, but nobody tell me They're today right. too. They, they, don't, they don't want to tell me what my mistake, they don't want I tell what their mistake either. When I tell them mistake, judge, let's move the table, let's fight. <laughs> <laughs> let's move it, you know what I mean? So it's no more friendly to do it. Yeah. So kind of like, um, and that's the martial arts problems, and the people cannot take the criticize, which we need it is, is criticize. Yeah. And, uh, but the, all the master, you cannot criticize them. Mm -hmm. They criticize them, you're not more friend, okay? And they want to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a, mm -hmm. that kind of situation. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's, I think, the most mistake that people is doing mindless repetition, and they don't know what their mistake. That's, so they cannot correct their mistake. When they can know what the mistake for me, like a, if I know my mistake, I can fix right away. And at least they give me a few days I can fix it. And, and, uh, but the problem is that you don't know what your mistake until the reality comes, until you test your student, you find that if they don't give you nice, you know, cooperation, yeah. you really go for it. Now, now then you know your mistake or you know what's your own. That's very good question. Yeah. What do you think about ground fighting? Can you comment? It's ground, become very popular fight. now, ground fighting. Yeah, I think uh, the first, uh, in the highest level fighter, it should not be on the ground. Uh, you are on the ground, I should be standing there. So in the Chinese classical fight, it's never master is on the ground. That's the first thing. But uh, however, if on the ground, it, it still is the same principle. Uh, you use maximum strength, uh, you use maximum strength to deal with his partial strength. And second one, you have maximum weight on him, not he on you. And this is a principle. Third one, your speed is a minus speed, your technique is a minor technique. So you don't have a technique, and you attack where he's emptiness. So where he's empty, you attack. But however, today the ground fight is sports. We talk about uh, the fight, it's a kill, so, which is totally different. Uh, martial is kill, is an injury to people. So with uh, sports, it's totally different. So boxing is sports. It's to dominate. Yeah, it's uh, sports. So you cannot grab the groin, you cannot you know, attack the heart, for example. So actually for the heart part, groin part, through part, it, it doesn't take you to too much strength and time to kill the people. Uh, I have one more question. Um, years ago, you you said that um, sparring yeah. training, yeah. Um, though it may be good for some things, yeah. it's the big problem with sparring yeah. is that uh, you pull your punches. You yeah. train to pull your punches, yeah. so you don't. Um, you're not practicing to break bones. Yeah. Um, do you still feel this problem with sparring? No, the sparring is for me is the 
once you got maximum unit force, once you get speed is minus speed, once you get maximum gravity, which one punch is 160 pound weight, so you, you know you can hurt people and you can kill the people. So that time you're sparring with people, you're not looking for to injure him, to kill him, and you're just looking for where his emptiness, where his weakness. Mm. So you try to control him actually. So you give him the weight, make he reached, or he he reached, then everywhere is yours. So you can change, you cannot change. Or he's weak, so you overthrow him, and you just like an ocean, like you know, like a tsunami, just cover him. So so you cannot. Do anything. So it's kind of like most is on control and to feel. So for me, sparring is to feel where he's emptiness. So it's not try to hurt him. It's try to feel if he have emptiness, I can attack. That means he already lost. You don't need a real to prove to to get him. So you don't use sparring as a contest. You use sparring as an art, as a, as a place Spar to express your art. Yeah, the sparring as the testing where is my emptiness, where is my vulnerable part, so let he attack. So if he can get me, he can attack me, so meaning I have vulnerable area. And plus to feel, like to feel your enemy. So like a, kind of like a two animal play each other, to feel each other. Hi, what do you think about using sparring? At the, m many schools use sparring at the beginning of practice in the yeah. first year. Yeah. How do you feel about this kind of uh, That kind of sparring is working on the technique, which is more on the technique, which more work on the experience. So that's, it's necessary in the beginning, but uh, I think it has to be changed in the future. The uh, future is play the feeling and play the, the understanding. The uh, beginning is practice technique, practice the experience, to you know, how you are, you know, experience, so punchy defense. But later, it, 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 you change the way of fight. So you're not a defense anymore. It's just a direct go to where he's empty and to avoid what he's for.